Good morning, YouTube. Hi, 40 plusers, subscribers, greetings, salutations. Um, I wanted to open this video with a congratulations to the winner. Hi, winner of the of last month's share my haul giveaway. Uh, I appreciate everyone who entered. Uh, Rafflecopter has a uh, select a random winner feature and I clicked on that and it did the thing and I sent emails and it, it worked out um, so I appreciate everyone who entered and uh, watch for the next giveaway so today we are doing a wantable hey did you hear that Sh <laughs> crash that's probably not good for me but Wantable unboxing. This is the makeup edition for April, and it didn't break again. So the there's four items in this box. The first item from Dirty Little Secret, very adorable polka dotty packaging, is a five shan, five shan, five pan, five shade shan um, eyeshadow palette. I can get a sense of the uh, sense of the shades right here and their names. Um, it looks like this, which is kind of like uh, a NYX or an old. It's the same packaging format as those hard candy twelve pans from like two years ago. Um, but it has ow, um, five round instead of 12, 10 or 12 things. It's got a shader brush. It's not terrible. It's a little stiff. All right. So here are the shades. So you have Sassy, 24K. You can see the gold in that. Sinful. Shady, which is a gray with a purple undertone, and Liar Liar, which is a nice brown, charcoaly brown. Okay, so this arrived, these three shades were completely shattered. There was shadow everywhere. I was able to salvage about half of each pan and repress it. You can see how uh, not deep they are compared to these two. So I was able to salvage some of each of those, put alcohol in them and repress them so it isn't a complete mess, but um, yeah, this arrived completely shattered. There was sh shimmery pearl and 24 karat gold over everything inside this box. It was like a mica dust cloud when I opened it up. So I'm gonna give you five. <laughs> Uh, swatches on the back of this hand because this hand has lippies on it. Okay, so the first one is Sassy. And it's got a very nice sheen to it. You can see that. It would actually make a nice highlighter as well. 24K. There it is on my finger. There's 24K below Sassy. And we'll do Sinful, which is their first two, Sassy and 24K, are highly satined, not quite metallics or foils. I don't know what they would have been like before they were repressed. They might have might have been foils, but now they're not. Sometimes it, repressing a metal, metallic really screws it up. Can't see it because it's exactly my skin tone, but right below that is Sinful. Then we'll go in with Shady, which accidentally I just did over Sinful. Anyway, so this is Shady on top of Sinful. So, Shady and Liar Liar are both 
really nice. They blend out nicely, um, but they come out of the pan, at least on a finger squatch, very chunky. They're not dry. Uh, I don't know. They're, it's like uh, they kind of clump together. Maybe they've got a lot of moisture in them. So there you go. So this is Sassy 24K. I covered up Sinful, then Shady, and Liar. Usable shades. Um, Sinful makes a great base. I would see, think that would be a great... Um, if you don't have Wet n Wild Brulee, it's very similar. Um, matches my skin tone exactly. Forgot a towel. Um, Shady and Liar are very pretty. They both have purple undertones, though. Um, which, they have purple undertones. Sinful has a, is a yellow undertoned flesh tone. 24K is gold. And Sassy is this very light PG pearl shade. So these two draw the eye, these um, do the crease and darken the outer corner, and then Sinful uh, is your transition shade in your base. So, I mean, it's a, you have two different looks with it using either Sassy or 24K on the lid. So I will give it a try on my eyes in the next few days now that it is dried out from being repressed. Now, there are, there are three lippies. Um, from Dirty Little Secret, two items from that brand, is a lipstick, um, very nude, actually the shade of my lips, right now, there's no lipstick on, but you'll see, I'll put that one on, um, and this is, has very few ingredients, let's see if you can see the ingredients list there. Um, and it's just a plastic black bullet. Here's the shade. It's actually on the back of my hand right here. There, I just reapplied. That's like five layers, six, seven, eight layers now. And I've worn this a couple of times while I was waiting for the eyeshadow palette to repress. It is very smooth. It's. I thought it for, and it has just the slightest slightest flavor and fragrance, but not anything noticeable. It's not overly vanilla or anything. It's just a touch sweet. Um, but yeah, it's basically a lip balm. And you can see there's no difference on my lips. And then the next is from the brand Doucet. Wet Fusion Lipstick. And this has lots of ingredients. There, you can read the ingredients if you pause. Um, so, I don't like that it starts with castor seed oil, but it's got olive oil, shea butter, cocoa butter, um, palm solids, palm oil solids. And, you know, it's a decent product, moisturizing products in it. It is a really nice pinky red. There we go. That's like four swatches now because I just reapplied. 
Uh, I'll give you a single swatch so you can see. And this has a, a slight sweet scent. Um, I don't remember. I only wore it once if it had a flavor. The package says flavor, so I'm a. S Actually, it says fall over, not flavor. So, <laughs> typo. You see right there? Here. Fall over. Fall over. So, it has fall over. <laughs> and then from Pure Glam Cosmetics is a lip liner. And it says it's distributed by the Lano Company. So Lanolin would be my obvious jump. I haven't looked this up. Lanolin means this is not vegan. Just saying. Um, but it is a warm brown lip liner with a purple undertone. Reminds me, it's exactly the same shade as a balm eyeliner, believe it or not. Um, the, a purpley brown balm eyeliner. I don't remember what it's called. It is long since dried out and is gone from my collection, but um, maybe somebody knows. There's the thing. And it does set. You see it's not smearing even with other stuff around it. So make sure you blend it out pretty good because even, well, see the oils are, are making it move around from the lipsticks. Okay. But it does set. <sighs> so those are the four items. Lip liner, two lippies, and the Dirty Little Secret 5 Pan eyeshadow palette. Um, because the palette was shattered, I did send a CS message and they did say that they were going to send me something else. They did not have any more of that palette. So we'll see what they end up sending me um, because there was shadow everywhere. It was quite the mess. But their customer service is great and responsive. I think within a few hours on a Saturday. So. I gotta say, this Dirty Little Secret lipstick feels nice. So maybe if it was a different shade that actually had some visual impact on my skin tone and my lips, maybe I'd really like it because it feels great. Feels just like a lip balm. Very smooth. Anyway, be happy, be healthy, learn something new every day, and uh, keep watching. Ciao for now.